Hi guys, welcome back. JT here at DelicateBeats.com. Are you looking for ways to make your drum beats fatter, give more textures to your drums, or just make them louder? Well, I've got a special trick for you today. It's called the New York Compression Trick. Let me show you how it works. The principle behind the NY Compression Trick is fairly simple. You just have to create a duplicate of a track and exaggerate certain characteristics using EQ and then literally crush the sound with compression. I've created three drum loops in three different styles and I'm going to show you how to approach each of those styles using the, uh, the New York compression trick. First, let's start off with a house loop. I'm going to play the... Uh, the loop first and then we're gonna see how the NY compression trick uh, affects the uh, the second copy of the loop so the loop is already sounding good but we want to give it a bit more soul a bit more grit a bit more bass so let's turn over to the uh, the copy and see how I EQ'd and compressed the loop. So I decided to add as much bottom as I want, uh, as I could, um, and uh, took out a bit of uh, the mid low end uh, because it tends to make the, the the four to the floor kick a bit boxy. Um, the clap had already a lot of attacks, so uh, I didn't do anything to it, and I added a bit more air to the top. Now the most important thing uh, in the uh, New York compression trick is to crush the sound uh, the right way. So what you want to do is have slow attack and fast release. That way the transients um, are not so affected at the attack uh, point, but with the fast release and super high ratio, what that does is it creates kind of a trail on the sound, so it fills up the gaps in the uh, in the drum loop. And finally, what you want to do is uh, put the threshold as low as you can uh, to the point where it uh, literally distorts the sound. Um, don't worry, it's not you. you um, since the copy is not going to be played as loud as the original loop, um, you're not going to feel the distortion, distortion so much, but it's uh, somehow going to give a lot of character to the drum loop. So let's listen to the um, the uh, soloed uh, New York compressed loop. Let's compare back with the original loop. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put the fader to zero on the uh, the copy and I'm going to move slowly the uh, the vo volume up to where uh, I feel the uh, the second copy of the loop but it's not you know overpowering the main loop and there you have it now I'm gonna do a little before and after so you see what what the effect is exactly on the loop So as you can see, um, it adds more life. Uh, there's a bit more punch, and um, yeah, it creates uh, more excitement. Even though the New York compression trick was invented by disco mixing engineers in New York in the 70s, um, there's no uh, reason why hip hop producers or trap producers uh, shouldn't make um, use of that super cool trick. So here I have uh, a trap beat. So obviously on the trap beat what you want to emphasize is the bass or the 808. So again there's a big uh, low shelf 6 dBs uh, around 80 Hertz 
And again, I uh, took out some of the low mids because um, I didn't uh, like the, uh, again, the, the kind of the boxiness that came with the, the original 808. And again, I added a bit more top. This time I dipped um, around the snare or the, uh, yeah, the, the, the high mids because the snare was a bit too uh, ear tiring when I applied compression. So let's listen to the um, New York compressed loop. So here, depending on how much uh, distortion you want, you can um, play, uh, play with the threshold a bit. So just a bit of distortion might be good. Uh, you want that 808 to pop off, uh, pop out in the um, the smaller speakers too. So let's listen to the before and after again. I could probably move down the uh, the volume on the uh, New York compression trick. Again, it's uh, there. There is really no right or wrong way to do this. It's um, it's just uh, ba based on what you like to hear. Now let's move on to um, the boom bap, or should I say, um, just n regular hip hop beat. Here's my beat. As you can tell, the uh, the clap and the hi hat again uh, are are going to become very harsh with the super hard compression. So I dipped in the in the high mids. Um, this time, instead of going to the super low end, I boosted uh, around 60 for the kick to um, to be a bit more deep. And uh, let's do uh, one last before and after. In this case, I could even, you know, back uh, back off a bit on the the, the hi hat, the open hi hat, and the um, and the clap. And there you have it. So um, don't be shy. Use the NY compression trick on any types of drums. I'm sure you'll find uh, something you like out of this trick. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to watch my other videos, such as the uh, the Dr. Dre snares, or if you're into EDM, I have uh, the EDM kicks. And um, subscribe to the channel because uh, there's always some new and good stuff to come. Thanks. <laughs>